Calculating thermodynamic functions. The combustion of one mole of methane is done in a closed system under a constant pressure of 1.000 atmospheres and at a temperature of 25.00 degrees Celsius. Calculate the values of Q, standard delta H, standard delta G, standard delta S, delta S of the surroundings, delta S of the universe, standard delta U, and W. According to Hess's law, delta H is equal to the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the products minus that of the reactants. The given enthalpy values must be multiplied by their respective stoichiometric coefficients. Remember that the enthalpy of formation of an element is zero. The gaseous oxygen is a pure element in its most stable form. Therefore, by definition, its enthalpy of formation is zero. The calculations are only additions and subtractions, so we only take into consideration the least precise decimal position. Here, all the data given was precise to one decimal place, so our answer should also have one digit after the decimal. Since the system is kept at constant pressure, the enthalpy is equal to the heat of reaction, Q. To find the value of delta G, we do the same calculations, but with the data for the free enthalpies of formation. We can now calculate delta S with the following equation. Let's rearrange the equation to determine the entropy variation. The values for delta H and delta G must be converted from kilojoules into joules, since entropy is expressed in joules per Kelvin. The answer must have four significant digits, because the values for delta H and delta G were given precise to four digits. The three answers will be placed on the bottom in order to make room for the next calculations. Next, we need to find the value of delta S for the surroundings and for the universe in the same way that it was done in the video about the Van Toff equation. The entropy variation is equal to Q divided by the temperature. The entropy variation of the surroundings will be of the opposite sign because the environment absorbs the heat that the reaction releases. Since the reaction is at constant pressure, Q is equal to the enthalpy variation. Note that the calculation for the previous delta S was different and took into account delta G. The entropy variation of the universe is equal to the variation of the disorder going from reactants to products, delta S, plus the heat released to the environment, delta S for the surroundings. This formula is not going to be given, it's something you must figure out. Now all there is left is to calculate delta U and W. To find delta U, we will use the following equation. Delta N gas refers to the variation of moles of gas in the reaction. For the combustion of methane, there is one mole of gas produced for three moles of gas that reacted. The value of delta N gas is therefore negative two. The answer should be in kilojoules with four significant digits. The first law of thermodynamics makes delta U be equal to the heat of the reaction plus the work. The equation will be simply rearranged to solve for W, the work done by the reaction on the system. We only keep two significant digits here because the values in the subtraction were precise to only one decimal place. If you got a little bit lost in what the meanings are of all the thermodynamic terms we just calculated, here's a quick recap. The combustion of methane released 890.3 kilojoules of heat. However, because the system had less gas at the end of the reaction and the pressure remained constant, the system was compressed and had 5 kilojoules of work done on it. This gave an internal energy change in the system of negative 885.3 kilojoules, our delta U value. Also, the environment had to absorb around 70 kilojoules of energy in the form of heat, almost like a tax so that the entropy of the universe stayed positive, and so the second law of thermodynamics was respected. Consequently, the value of delta G, negative 817.9 kilojoules, was the net amount of free energy that would be able to be used.